Okay, hello everyone. My name is Sharon Moore, and forgive me for not looking at the camera. I have a million things going on, and I've been very busy, and I'm on my way to go pick up my daughter, but I wanted to get this done for Pam Lawhorn. She asked me to make a video for her, uh, testifying to my uh, recent dealings in DS domination, and I am truly excited. I and I've just been in there for about two months and for the first month I just pretty much sat on it uh, didn't really work very hard of course skeptical like most people are um, Pam knows what my situation is and I'm going to share that with you all today uh, recently I've been uh, struggling and uh, trying to find a way out of our financial situation my husband and I have been uh, both gainfully employed but it's just not been enough for our family um, he has, is technical skilled. I am a degreed graphic designer, actually. I finished my degree. I have a bachelor's degree in graphic design. I'm pretty good at it. I also did a internship in London for it, so I'm not a fly-by-night type of person. When I get with something, I want to stick with it. Uh, graphic design is still something that I love, but because of our situation when I got back from London, we moved to Austin. And, of course, moved away from my circle of friends in the graphic design industry. So, networking is everything. And I'm in an area where I don't know many people in that industry. So, in the meantime, I decided I'd wait tables. And hope that eventually I'll be able to meet people in my in, uh, in graphic design and, and do that. But it hadn't worked out that way, and that's okay. That may still happen, that may not. But in the meantime, I'm a degreed person waiting tables with a family of five to take care of along with my husband's income so Pam I've been friends with her on Facebook for probably three or four years and I see her posts on uh, how to uh, being successful at making money making three to five hundred dollars a day and now I go hmm, okay whatever good for you and keep on scrolling by on Facebook well finally I had a table leave me probably twenty dollars on a two hundred and forty dollar tab and I just had it. I cannot wait tables. I'm too old for that. I'm too skilled for that. Nothing against servers. I love my fellow servers in the service industry, but you all know how it goes. People just don't do what they're supposed to do when they go to restaurants, and I'm tired of it. So I told Pam, all right, show me what you're doing. And basically she said, can you copy and paste? I'm like, yeah, I'm on the computer all day. I'm a graphic designer. Of course I can copy and paste. Okay, well, watch the seminar, take a look at it, see how it goes, and I signed up for it and sat on it for a month, you know, put one thing here, one thing there, and boom, got a sale. Why? I have a sale. Okay. I laughed because that night when I got that sale, I was at work, and it took me, it was an item that I had posted, didn't sell, decided to relist it, and it took five seconds to relist that item on eBay. Five seconds to relist it. It took me five minutes to post it in the first place, but five minutes to relist it. That item sold on eBay while I was at work on a Saturday night. I made more money on eBay that night than I did waiting tables. I'm done waiting tables. If I can make more money with a five seconds of work, five seconds of work, as opposed to the four hours I did waiting tables, and I mean refilling people's iced tea 16 times and oh I need extra napkins I need extra sauce on this well why don't you have this and my food's taking too long and I don't like how this sauce looks and all the crap you have to take from people waiting tables as if you're, you're some menial servant oh and by the way servers make only two sixteen dollars two dollars and sixteen cents an hour uh, so we survive on tips and when you don't get them it's infuriating and I'm done leaving that in someone's hands so I laughed when I got home and saw that I had made more money online than what I did when I was actually at work killing myself my daughter said what's so funny I, said, I made more work on, I made more money online than I did waiting tables she's like really she just turned 18 I said yeah she's like how did you do that so I showed her she's like I can do that I can copy and paste yeah signed her up she has two things in her store she sold one two days later and texted me from school, from high school. Ma, I made a sale. What do I do next? This is what you do, blah, blah, blah. This is easy 
this is real and it is going to carry me and my family out of our financial situation. It's going to retire my mom and my dad. I love them both to death and one of my great regrets is as the oldest child I haven't been able to sit them down yet. They're going to sit down within the next year because of DS domination. So um, I highly recommend you all take a look at what we're doing. Take a look at the videos. See what it is. It is literally copy and paste from eBay to from Amazon to eBay. And see, I've only been in it a couple of weeks and I still have to get tongue tied. It's literally copy and pasting. Copy and paste, make some money, retire yourself from whatever job it is that you're doing that you don't want to do. And then in the process, if there's other things that you like to do, like myself, graphic design, I can pick and choose what clients I want. I don't have to deal with folks who, uh, hey, can you make a logo? I don't have any money, but you can get some free services. You don't have to do that bartering, carrying it on. And nothing's wrong with bartering. Just, I like shopping and I can't shop without cash. Need cash, Amazon and eBay. And this 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 system is going to do that for me. So here's my video. Um, here's my testimonial. No makeup on. I wrestled with the fact I should put some makeup on and look presentable and stuff. No, you could do this on the run like I'm doing on my phone, picking up my daughter as I'm driving, literally making money. So good luck to you and your team. And thanks, Pam, for putting me on. I'm stupidly excited. And see you all soon on whatever Isle of Greece that you plan on going to, because that's where I'm going. Bye.